Hey everybody. Hopefully, you understand by now, or you have an idea of how bad things are actually going to get. Now, I understand why nobody wants to go through that kind of stuff. I understand the allure to listen to people say the rapture is going to be today, tomorrow, next week, whatever. Okay. To be honest, I'm not interested in that. And you shouldn't be either. And this is why. It takes people's focus off the kingdom. It takes people's focus off maturity. It takes people's focus off building the things that they're going to need to survive until he does come. Okay? What will his coming look like? What will be the signs of his coming? What will be the things that will literally stick out that will let us know he's about to arrive? Well, if we look at Second Thessalonians, okay, chapter 2, 1 through 17, you, you know about the man of lawlessness, you know about the one world religion, the persecution of the church, or, or the false church, and then if you look at Mark, uh, chapter 13, you look at some of the signs that will have taken place prior to his arrival. Okay, it talks about, in verse uh, 20, <sighs> it talks about the sun being darkened, the moon refusing to give its light. Okay. It also says in verse, uh, let's see, 24, or, I'm sorry, verse 20, if those days were cut short, nobody would, nobody would survive. Okay? So, I mean, it paints a pretty vivid picture about what is going to happen. Okay? When he's going to show up and what he does. Okay? You're going to see one world government. You're going to see things that you've never seen before. Okay? The reason why you're being given more of this Holy Spirit today, the reason why there's more of a spirit, more of an outpour than ever before, is the times are getting close. Absolutely for sure. Okay, because you see the writing on the wall, you see the one world government getting ready to take place, you see the persecution of the church getting ready to happen, there's already been certain prophecies that are starting to be fulfilled, this, is, this can be clearly seen, okay, but if you read 2 Thessalonians, and then you read Mark, Chapter 13, literally, these things have to take place before his coming, not after. Okay? Physically, when we're going to be caught up in the clouds to be with him, these things will have taken place. Okay? Not before. There's a reason why he's pouring out his spirit upon all flesh. There's a reason why he's accelerating people's maturity. There's reasons why he's putting an urgency on his children to get out and meet your brothers and sisters in Christ. To either forget about serving him or obey his commands.
There's a reason why. And the reason is simple. Right now, it's easy to develop more maturity. Later on, it won't be so easy. When the false church, when the harlot starts getting literally persecuted and she falls apart, other religions than the one the man of perdition sets up are going to be very unpopular. Those that refuse to worship him are going to be hated with a hatred you haven't seen in a long time that you only see in psychopaths and people that just make your skin crawl. So please learn how to get as much of God's Holy Spirit as you can today. Learn about your brothers and sisters today. Learn how to obey today. Okay? Learn how to trust Him today. Cultivate spiritual fruit today. Because it's that fruit that's going to help you stay sane, stay awake, and stay in the right place. It's that important. So you don't need to get sidetracked. You don't need to take your mind or your focus off the kingdom. Because what's going to happen when somebody says the rapture's tomorrow and it doesn't come? What's going to happen? They're going to fall away. They're going to blame God. When it wasn't God, it was you who said the rapture was going to happen tomorrow. Okay? I encourage you, if you're one of these people... Who, who give these prophecies about stuff happening and it doesn't take place please come on YouTube and apologize God will forgive you I will forgive you the person that forgives receives forgiveness don't just pretend you didn't say it don't pretend that Oh, well, well, something happened. I just didn't know what. No, if you give specific details about what you think is going to happen or you think that God told you that certain things were going to happen and they don't take place exactly the way you said, you need to apologize. That's all there is to it. And that shows that you're humble or you're trying, that you make mistakes. Okay? That's important. And then God will pour His Spirit out on you. He will use you. He will honor the heart of a humble man. But He's going to crush the proud. He always does and He always will. Please, don't do this stuff anymore. Please. Okay? Continue to seek the kingdom and the righteousness of God. And all of this other stuff is going to be added to you. Your focus shouldn't be on when you go home, but what you're supposed to do while you're here. How well you serve while you're here. How mature are you? Are you? while you're here is there anything that I need to learn right now before I get there where I'm going okay that's where your focus needs to be guys help people build up one another take care of each other okay please it's that important okay May God richly bless you and draw you closer to himself. Thank you, guys.